Mexico City, Valeria León. Uh, we'll come on to the po potential positives of this visit in a moment. First, tell us about the negative reaction in Mexico. Well, this is Lopez Obrador's first trip abroad since he took office in 2018. And during this period, he has mostly delegated issues of foreign affairs to members of his cabinet, choosing not to travel beyond his country's borders for over 18 months in office. And the timing of this first face-to-face -face meeting with President Trump, which marks the start of this new North American trade deal, has raised questions in Mexico of whether this visit might be interpreted as a support for the reelection of President Trump this year. And, uh, well, Lopez Obrador has faced widespread criticism in Mexico for seeking out a meeting with Trump. Given the U.S. president's, uh, well, long history of blasting Mexico over immigration and also border security, still, Lopez Obrador insisted that this meeting was positive for Mexico. He explained that he has chosen to go to Washington, D.C. for the meeting today because, well, in hopes of preserving Mexico's most important uh, commercial relationship. And at a time when most of the countries are struggling with economic crisis stemming from the pandemic, Mexican officials has, have said that, well, they see in this meeting an opportunity to promote USMCA. Yeah, absolutely. If we're talking about money, uh, it's surprising that he's not meeting any members of the Mexican diaspora who, in the first five months of this year alone, sent back from the U.S. $15.5 billion. But $1.2 trillion was the uh, amount of trilateral trade between those three countries in North America that repre are represented in this trade deal. Those are the figures from 2019. So Obrador simply has to say, look, this is the thing that's happening and I need to be on Donald Trump's side. I suppose that's his only defense. What are the positive details that Mexico gains from this new trade agreement? Well, Mexican officials have touted the USMCA as a key part of their plan to recover the country's economy with a very modest fiscal stimulus. They also have, they, they have said that uh, the implementation of this uh, new trade deal will bring certainty for investment uh, to the region. And, well, uh, although there is still some, some fiscal or legal framework to be adjusted, but just uh, four years ago, it seemed almost impossible to renegotiate NAFTA. And now we can say we have a deal.